Now it is time for Pet Corner with the SPCA's Education Manager, Nicole Petty, who has, of course, brought in a very special guest. This time, it is one-year-old Butterscotch the Bunny. Oh, good morning, Nicole, and hello, Butterscotch. Hello. First up, I must ask you, how do you know that Butterscotch is one-year-old? Um, so when he uh, first came in, he got a look over by our vets, and they were able to tell by his teeth. Oh, his teeth. Uh, his age, yeah. His little bunny teeth. How did Butterscotch end up at the SPCA? Um, so he was brought in by a concerned member of the public. Um, he had been on the streets alone of the North Shore, um, hopping around, which is no place for a bunny like him, especially wind, rain, cold at this time of the year. So. Not at all. How long do you think he'd been homeless for? Um, it's hard to say, but when he did come in, he was a bit um, malnutritioned, dehydrated, and, yeah, needed a bit of... Here, a bit of love. Back here, a absolutely. Bit of care. Do we have any idea of how he got out? Could he have just escaped from somebody's hutch or had he been let loose? Um, possibly. There could be a number of things. Either, yeah, unfortunately, um, there are situations where people do let their rabbits go thinking they're going to be all right, but a domesticated rabbit like Butterscotch isn't going to survive very long mm. out on his own. Or he could have been escaped, possibly. Well, the thing is, when you get a boy bunny and a girl bunny, you quite often have a lot more bunnies than you maybe had initially thought you were going to get, don't you? Absolutely. So that won't be the case for Butterscotch though. So he, he <laughs> has been de -sexed. He's had the special Microchipped, operation. Microchipped, vaccinated. So, um, He's looking for a home? He is. He is looking for a home. So people can actually go online and find him and, and offer him a good home? He's online at the moment so you can have a little um, look about what sort of home he's needing. Um, he's very sociable. He seems really, really, ha really happy, doesn't he? Like it's, some bunnies are not sociable bunnies at all, are they? Oh, he's super affectionate. Oh, he's just looking adorable sitting there right there in your lap. And you can house train him as well, can't you? Absolutely. So I think he's halfway there with his house training. So Well, he's in the cafe. It's a pretty <laughs> nice place to be. And he's behaved himself so far. So. so you obviously help a lot of homeless animals, don't you, at the SPCA? We do. So we get thousands. What's the most animals? common that you have? Um, probably cats especially coming into um, spring and summer it's heading into kitten season so we'll get a lot of kittens in oh, shortly. But do you have other bunnies? We do, we do. There's a few uh, rabbits like butterscotch in the village at the moment. We've also got a couple of guinea pigs in there at the moment as well. All and sorts of things. Yeah. I want to talk to you about these books that you've brought in too because they're the SPCA Learn to Read Story books and there's, there's quite a special story about these, isn't there? Um, there is. So they're actually part of our education program um, and at the moment they're getting distributed out to every primary school in the country, which is super exciting. Um, so they're really engaging stories for children to learn to read with and at the same time they're teaching animal care messages, so how to look after animals, um, encouraging empathy and compassion as well so that's a nice thing an awesome teaching tool and also I like the fact that this one the problem with Sione spaghetti is about a bunny just like that Scott that's a really good thing to do <laughs> because I think a lot of children do need to read stories to understand fully that also when they get a rabbit or something it's not just for a few weeks they they last a few years Absolutely, and that's at the back there's um, little tips about how to care for your rabbit and encourages um, children to go online to our website and learn all about what rabbits awesome. need. Well thank you so much for coming today Nicole and thank, thank you so much you. for bringing Butterscotch in, it's been an absolute treat.